short game, chipping, my pitching is probably the strength in my game, um, at least the most consistent. Um, you know, obviously, it wasn't like that from the beginning. I put in a lot of work, but um, you know, things that I'm focusing on in my pitching, at least there's kind of two sides I look at it. You know, the technical side and the strategic side. And you know, strategic side, I'm focusing on two things. That's my landing spot and my trajectory, and um, you know, making sure that I have that visual on any shot that I'm trying to hit. We talked about one thing that I visualize on my pitch shots is, you know, we need to always walk up to the green and, and see the slope and all that. But I, I want to look at my landing spot and maybe I'm standing on my landing spot. The flag is over here and my ball is over there. And what I'm trying to do is look back at my golf ball and imagine the ball flying to me and landing at my feet. And then asking myself, okay, if it lands here, what trajectory or what landing angle does the ball need to be coming in on to get close to the hole? So say the, the flag stick or those shag bags right there, well, if the ball lands here, that landing angle has got to be pretty vertical to get it to stop because it bounce, bounce, and trickle. So maybe that's not my landing spot right here. Maybe it might be over there because I do want to try to hit it somewhat lower if I can. And, and like we Martin said yesterday, you know, we don't want to hit the flop shot unless we absolutely have to. So uh, that kind of helps me visualize how high I'm going to hit the shot. So, so let's talk a little bit about technique. And what I did there was I, I dropped those balls down there, a little triangle that might be uh, representing my landing spot okay, for this shot. So. When I'm hitting this shot, I'm going to probably go with my 58 because, say, the green started just short of my landing spot, and I'm going to try to land it almost to the, to the green or, or onto the green. I'm going to get my feet pretty narrow, my weight on my left side. I always want my feet to look like this when I look down at them, where my left toe is more open or, or drawn back and then my toe is open a little bit okay I always see golfers like this with, when they're chipping and pitching and we can't do that because then we're gonna have to turn the face to get it back on target okay so I've got my open stance and then I'm gonna feel that I'm swinging on my toe line which will be slightly out to end or left of target uh, this is the cardinal rule that we don't want to do in our golf our pitch shots is, is swing from the inside like this because if I do that then well, that's going to happen there I'm going to heal it into that bunker okay so again I'm going to be swinging on my toe line making sure the club stays out in front of my hands and it doesn't get too far back here from the front as I'm coming through I'm making sure that I'm turning like Martin was talking about yesterday making sure my shaft or my hands stay out in front of the club head okay so hit a couple okay not bad so hit that pretty well online short of my landing spot so I'm just gonna feel a little bit longer back swing There we go, right in my landing spot. Uh, what I want you to see, I'll hit one this way. One thing that I'm really keying on in, in these shots is to, to keep a, a positive tempo, a one, two tempo. You know, so I'll kind of get in here, and that's one thing I've noticed and uh, you know, watch the Byron Nelson or visit, watch the Colonial in person. You watch some of those players play in person and they're kind of just, you know, do their practice swings. They're, they're doing their visual. It's step, step, kind of tap and go. Okay. They're not standing over very long. You want to maintain that cadence and that rhythm that you're doing in that practice swing. Okay. And then I'm going. Okay, one last thing, 
again, back to the visualization. Um, when I'm looking out there doing my practice swings, I do the practice swings, I hold, and I look for that landing spot, and I judge in that moment, was that the right, the appropriate distance? You know, obviously if I did a practice swing like this, I'm trying to carry it 20 yards, that's not gonna match up. I see all too often where people are doing practice swings with their head down. You have no external view of the landing spot or the shot, so it doesn't, you have no idea if those practice swings are appropriate, okay, the appropriate length. And then as I'm looking at that landing spot and then I look down at the ball, I am looking, my face is pointed at the ball, but I am visualizing that landing spot. I'm not really looking at the ball or focusing heavily on that ball. Does that make sense?